is vlogmas day 16 as y'all can see i just got out of work so hopefully i'm i'm on my way home i'm hoping my mom is still up because i wanted to ask her how we celebrate christmas in our home country which is haiti and i'm going to talk a little bit about what christmas means to me as a 21 year old now and yeah and I'm gonna eat some chili and some cornbread because I've been waiting all day to get home. I had the worst period cramps known to man. And I stayed for my whole entire 12 hour shift because there's 2.5 people that work at my job, but that's neither here nor there. I'm just grateful and ready to get home. Mom, how do we celebrate Christmas in Haiti? In Haiti, we celebrate Christmas at church. We have, what they call it, theater. Peace uh, talking about Jesus, how he born, we, we do some play with it. Then at home, we always have goat, fried goat. The tassel? Yeah. And then uh, rice and pigeon pie. A oh, pigeon peas. peas. Yeah, so rice and pigeon peas. Okay, that's a black thing then. And then after church we we ha we always have cremas and, 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 and making some pepper tart some what they do cassava what is that P people who have yuca oh yuca okay we make cassava with it so we have fun each other and go on in a big house where everybody play together and, and enjoy so now it's totally different because everybody don't want to celebrate Christmas because of grass. Mm -hmm. So that's why we used to do it. And then for us, my mom always have two dress, one for Christmas to go to church and one to wear on January 1st mm -hmm. because it's that soup for January. So we have two dresses, one for Christmas, one for New Year's. And what about a tree? Did you guys have a tree? No, we don't used to have a tree. You didn't decorate or anything like no. that? No. Nope. We wash the house mm. up and down, change the, the sheet and uh, all your plate, everything you use. You have to wash everything. Make sure everything clean and the house clean. We paint the house. We wash and change everything. But we wasn't have a tree. Mm. Okay, so that's more of an American thing. Well, that was American new to you. Thing. And then PowerPoints, they do it, but it was for high people yeah. and uh, high classes. Do those things, but we are we are going to be able to do those things. Okay. All right. Thank you. We celebrate it, but it's very different now. Difficult because everybody don't wanna celebrate it. Mm. They say it's the devil thing. It's devil thing because they don't wanna listen to Christ. I figured out even they not say Merry Christmas anymore. They say Happy Holiday. So when they say happy holiday to me, I say Merry Christmas. My bad, y'all. So I also, for Vlogmas Day uh, 16, I hella meant to talk about what Christmas means to me. So pretend like this is yesterday. Pretend like this is yesterday and I don't have my nose done. Anyways, so you guys saw my mom talk about like how christmas is spent in our home holiday we don't really have christmas trees and stuff like that and we spend the holidays in church we are a very religious country i feel like most countries are religious in some shape way or form um america claims to be religious free you know but not really anyway so christmas like for me now as a 21 year old Christmas means something completely different than when I was 10, you know? When I was 10, Christmas meant gifts, you know? I tried not to make it about the gifts because of movies and what I was being told and stuff like that. But, you know, that's what every kid wants. They want gifts. So, for me, Christmas was about the gifts. It was about decorating the Christmas tree um, with my mom because that was something that we did together every year. Um, it was about going to Christmas dinner 
with my god family and you know having the secret shana exchange and kiki king having a good time now for me christmas means um actually being able to spend the holidays with people i i want to spend the holidays with and like i'm really picky about who gets my time now especially because it is very limited so like i told you guys i don't know if i said it or it's going to be posted but like i'm spending christmas with my cousin because that's the only person who i'm well, not the only person but the the one main person that i could see myself spending the entire well we're celebrating early but you get the point spending christmas with because this year was the year from hell and i'm not even going to go into details because when we're talking about new year's resolutions which will be coming up shortly i'll talk about that but my cousin is the one person i can travel with spend hours with and like yeah she pisses me off but like that's my big sis like we go together real bad so christmas for me means spending time with people who mean the world to me um it's not about the gifts per se it's nice if i get gifts but you know it's been so long since i've gotten like actual good good like christmas gifts i kind of just it is what it is i buy myself christmas stuff you know the only it's the only times i've gotten good christmas gifts is from my cousins like i told you guys this noadia hold on i'm sorry i gotta flex the chain while we're still sitting this noadia chain right here was a gift from both of my cousins in 2020 and it was one of the best gifts i got because we started doing a thing where we gave each other wish lists so we weren't just buying stuff that we thought the other person wanted you know and they didn't really want or need that thing so i started getting like really good gifts after we did the wish list and stuff like that but um and i kind of talked about that in my my what i want for christmas vlog or whatever but yeah so christmas for me spending means spending time with people i care about um getting in the holiday spirit i want to bring back how christmas felt for me as a child like as a kid I, f I mean i still do but you know it's different when you're an adult i fucking loved christmas okay i mean there was one year we went to dollar tree and we i don't know what the budget was like a hundred dollars or something but we completely went fucking insane okay that year we decorated for christmas was absolutely insane like i want christmas to feel like that i feel like once i turned 17 18 christmas started feeling like it's just another day you know yeah yeah i think it was when i was 17 it was 2018 and i was working at mcdonald's i had to work christmas morning and that was the first year that i really felt like damn it kind of just felt like another tuesday because i think christmas was on a tuesday that day it didn't it wasn't exciting you know so for me christmas means a whole oh oh i'm so mad i'm sorry sidebar I have a Chevron's reward thing and gas is now $2.99 and my first two visits were a dollar off. I could have been getting gas for a dollar, a dollar ninety-nine. Oh, that's sick. That's sickening. But I'm glad gas prices are going down, even with the holiday coming up. Anyways, I'm tired of these people beep beep being at me. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, I'm sorry. <laughs> Christmas for me means bringing back the holiday spirit. So, you know, drinking hot cocoa, watching the movies I watched as a kid, annoying everyone with Christmas music, making sure the house gets decorated because my mom is getting older. And yes, I do usually do it with her as soon as I was able to. But now it's mostly like, you know, well, you, you guys saw my mom decorated this year, but like, over the last couple of years she's not wanting she's not been wanting to decorate the house essentially so yeah just bringing holiday spirit to everybody and like reminding everybody if you are religious that it's about christ's birthday even though he wasn't technically born in december but just celebrating his birth but also celebrating the time that you get to spend with family and friends and just reflecting on the year that was that was had um Christmas means a lot more to me now as a 21 year old woman than it did as a 10 year old girl because you know I lost my cousin and so the holidays 
Oh my God, I keep dropping my camera. Okay, the holidays are one, a really hard time for me, and two, I just take everything so more in depth. You know, I take everything more to heart. So that's why I'm doing all of this Christmas shit, even though I really don't got time to. And even though I wanted to do a hell of a lot more, every year for the last three, four years, I've been saying, I wanna do more for Christmas, I wanna do more for Christmas. I, one, don't have money sometimes, or two, don't have the time. Right now, I'm in the year of, I don't have time. Also, I haven't used up my entire budget. So the next paycheck, I'm getting paid the day before New Year's. And so I'm paying for my New Year's plans. And then I'm going on a budget for the rest of the year because that's it. I'm done. I, I can't be frivolous. Budget cuts, you know? But yeah, um, Christmas just hits a lot more. And I try to make it mean a lot more, you know, doing all these Christmas stuff. Like when I went to see Sandy the Christmas tree with my man on Thursday, like I never did that before. Like I'm trying to do more Christmas things that are unique and around South Florida. Next year, I'm hoping we can like actually have the time, um, not even just the time, the money to go all the way up to Orlando and go to Tampa and maybe even K Largo for the holidays, just for, um, a day trip and go see what they have going on there because I love immersing myself in cultural experiences. So for me, Christmas is a cultural experience, you know? It's just feels like magic. I'm trying to bring that magic back into my life. There was a one of my mantras that I really stuck to this year was romanticize your life because yeah, so you see how all these Christmas movies they be romanticizing the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's me romanticizing my life and pretending like I'm a celebrity and Christmas is the most best holiday, period. You know, this this is the kind of stuff that helps you feel a little bit better about living as an adult because I truly understand why adults have depression because I've experienced it. I'm just not coming out of a months long episode, you know, and yeah, so Christmas for me this year means happiness magic you know i want it to be a cultural experience so even though i'm working on actual christmas day i'm trying to do things leading up that help remind me of happy times and that i love christmas so sorry for that really long rant but i wanted to make sure that i got this clip out because i really did want to talk about what christmas means to me you know now that i'm an adult and everything like that so as always guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my mom's little spiel about what we do in haiti um if i can find any pictures i'll try to put them while she's talking in her clip um and yeah as always guys stay tuned for the next day which we going up tomorrow and like comment and subscribe